Hello friends, pheasants are one of the species that contributes to the economic of many countries around the world. They were originally invasive wild species and are now being bred and raised by the millions on farms. How is pheasant egg incubation technology performed? Here is the video. Please subscribe to the channel to show us some support. Harvesting eggs from free-range chickens is a routine that takes place amid the natural rhythms of outdoor life. Chickens usually start laying eggs at about six months of age and lay eggs year-round with peak production occurring in spring and summer. On free-range farms, egg collection usually takes place early in the morning when the chickens are still resting, minimizing the risk of encountering guard chickens. The number of eggs that an adult chicken can lay annually ranges around 200 eggs, although there are differences depending on breed and care conditions. The manual hand harvesting method of eggs involves delicately removing them from the nest and placing them in farm baskets. An average free-range chicken farm can produce about 1,000 to 2,000 eggs per day. However, this number depends on the specific circumstances of each farm. Before incubating eggs, it is crucial to sanitize them to eliminate bacteria and mold that could harm the embryos. The eggs can be sterilized by soaking them in a solution of 0.5% bleach or ethanol for 10 to 15 minutes. Only fresh eggs that are crack-free, with a normal shape, weighing around 50 to 60 grams, are chosen for incubation. The eggs are arranged lengthwise, with the larger end facing up and the smaller end pointing downward. They are placed about 2 to 3 centimeters apart to ensure sufficient space for embryo development. The eggs are placed in the incubator at a temperature of 37.5 Celsius and humidity levels of 60 to 65 percent. The incubator automatically rotates the eggs five to six times per hour to ensure even embryo development. The incubation period for chicken eggs lasts approximately 28 days during this time, it is essential to regularly monitor temperature and humidity levels in the incubator to ensure they remain within the appropriate range. The hatch weight for chicken eggs in modern farms can reach up to 90% once a chicken egg hatch. It is crucial to provide them to the chicks promptly for warmth and comfort. Chicks are given eggs within 24 hours of hatching. Raising pheasant poults requires meticulous care for their robust development. Pheasant poults need to be kept warm during the first two weeks post-hatch. The ideal temperature hovers around 99.5 Fahrenheit after two weeks. The temperature can gradually decrease to 80 Fahrenheit. Providing commercial pheasant starter feed is essential for the poults. The feed must ensure a well-balanced nutritional profile, including proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals Clean and sufficient water supply is crucial for pheasant pulse well-being. The 
beak trimming is implemented approximately one month after hatching using a tool known as beak hood. Grafted from plastic or metal, this tool, resembling a hen's beak, prevents poults from picking each other and plucking feathers. At four to six weeks, pheasants are free to forage outdoors for food until the day they meet their pressing fate. The architecture of the pheasant cope becomes paramount, designed to seamlessly fit the unique needs of our feathered friends. Buildings that are elevated, well ventilated and avoid drafts are a must. Regular cleaning rituals are performed to prevent any environmental contaminants. Pheasants, like any gourmet, requires a culinary symphony, a balanced diet, protein, fat, carbs, vitamins, and minerals all plays a role. Whether commercially sourced or prepared on site, the food caters to their culinary preferences. The global trend of pheasant hunting services is one of the rise, gaining substantial momentum across the world. Pheasants are renowned for their flavorful and nutritious meat, have become a sought-after target for avid hunters. These hunting services are typically offered by pheasant farms, where the birds are bred harvested and released into the wild for the thrill of the hunt. Enthusiasts equip themselves with the necessary gear and embark on independent pheasant hunting adventures within designated areas. Hunters receive expert guidance from experienced individuals well versed in the art of pheasant hunting. This burgoing industry proves lucrative for pheasant farms. According to a study by the U.S. Hunting and Shooting Sports Heritage Foundation, annual revenues from pheasant hunting services in the United States alone are estimated to reach a staggering $500 million. The positive impact of pheasant hunting services extends to local economics, particularly in rural areas where these farms are often situated. These ventures create employment opportunities and contributes to the income of local residents. Furthermore, pheasant hunting services plays a role in the conservation of the pheasant species. Pheasant farms typically implement conservation measures to ensure a sustainable supply of these birds. Pheasant meat is a flavorful and nutritious choice that lends itself a variety of culinary creations. Pheasant meat can be deep fried to golden perfection and served with rice or noodles. Pheasant meat is considered an excellent source of protein, providing about 25 grams of protein per each 100 grams of meat. Compared to regular chicken, pheasant meat not only contains higher protein content but also lower fat content. In addition, pheasant meat is also high in vitamins 
and minerals as well, especially vitamin A and vitamin E. Whether it is sauteed, oven roasted, or grilled to perfection, the succulent flavor of pheasant meat will elevate any dish, making it a suitable dish and a choice for those who are looking for a delicious and nutritious dining experience. Let's continue watching the rest of the video to know exactly how. They are native to the savannas and deserts of Africa, with the largest populations being found in countries such as South Africa and Namibia. Each can be up to 9 feet long and weighs over 300 pounds. They have long legs with strong muscles, strong bones, and powerful two-toed feet that are among the adaptations that allow ostriches to run fast on land at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, but not fly. This makes them the fastest running birds. The short wings of an ostrich are not designed to fly, but they help keep warm and provide balance when running. Ostriches thrive in the desert thanks to many adaptations, such as flightless wings, long camouflaged necks, and a reduced need to drink. Especially thick eyelashes to protect them from sandstorms that often occur in these areas. Ostriches are omnivores, eating a diet consisting mainly of plants, but also including insects, lizards, and other small animals. They have a unique digestive system that allows them to get water from their food, reducing their need to drink water. Ostriches live in social groups called flocks, which usually include a dominant male, several females, and their offspring. We'll also dive into its unique reproductive behaviors, including the fascinating role the male ostrich plays in incubating eggs. During the breeding season, the males will begin to search for objects and then mate. The male ostrich is responsible for building the nest and incubating the eggs and incubating the eggs while the female takes turns guarding the nest. You will think you have been misheard, but this is the truth. They have excellent camouflage to protect them from predators. Ostrich eggs are one of the honey badger's favorite foods. They have special eyesights that allows them to detect danger from a great distance. Until the eggs hatch, they will begin to move and take the cubs to feed. Currently, on some farms, incubation has been modified. After the female ostrich lays eggs, ranchers harvest the eggs and incubate them in modern incubators. Incubation of ostrich eggs takes about 42 to 45 days. The incubation temperature is about 35 to 36 degrees Celsius, 95 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And the best humidity is usually around 25 to 35 percent. The most important thing is that during the process, 
the ostrich eggs need to be turned over at regular intervals to ensure the even development of the fetus inside, usually once every two hours. Until they hatch, they will be taken to a special care environment. However, with the ability to adapt to the desert environment, the temperature in this habitat does not affect them much. Their caretakers provide them with regular food and water. Mainly, they eat nuts, grains, and green vegetables. But the addition of certain foods containing high protein and vitamins is indispensable in ostrich farming. They will have better health and resistance to many diseases commonly found in camels. When the ostriches mature and reach weight, they are taken to the processing plant. In addition to meat, their skin and fur are also expensive items. They grow around the world, with important industries in the Philippines and Namibia. Ostrich skin is a valuable product, and the large feathers are used to decorate headgear. In ritual, as feathers, humans have used ostrich eggshells for millennia. Many parts of the world are also using it in some tourism activities. The festivals are held like horse racing competitions. Ostriches have a lifespan of about 40 to 45 years in the wild. Considered the species of least concern for conservation status. What do you think about this video? Leave us a comment below in the comment section. Are you ready for the next video now? Let's continue together. The method of producing ducks begins with selecting the appropriate duck species for your production objectives. There are two types of ducks, meat ducks and egg ducks. Meat is often higher in bulk and raised with the intention of exporting products, whereas duck eggs are chosen for egg production. It is critical to care for and create an appropriate living environment for ducks. This involves supplying heating systems, dining rooms, drinking water, and guaranteeing hygienic conditions. To thrive, the place needs a warm, dry, and pleasant atmosphere. Nutrition is equally crucial in duck husbandry. Ensure that your ducks are getting the proper quantity of nutritional formula for development and production. The particular sort of food will vary depending on the breed of duck you raise. Medical care and illness control are essential for duck health. It is vital to monitor duck health and administer medicines on a regular basis. The projected time is typically determined by the type of duck and your goals. The posture normally begins between 5 and 7 months of age and can last for several years.
On most farms, they are vaccinated as they hatch. In addition to semi-free-range environments, egg-laying ducks can also be kept entirely in cages. Feed for laying ducks can also be provided entirely with industrial feed. Duck eggs will begin to lay eggs at roughly 20-22 weeks. Duck egg products may leave an indelible impact on you. An ordinary duck may lay 250 to 300 eggs each year. Time and temperature can have an impact on duck egg products. At temperatures ranging from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, the posture is typically pleasant. Any temperature fluctuation or poor timing might reduce production. They will be replaced by another flock of ducks in around two to three years. When it comes to collecting, you must be cautious and efficient. The ducks are retrieved daily from the nest and placed in a safe, confined setting. To avoid contamination, the project must be completed while maintaining cleanliness and altitude protection. The duck eggs are then transported to the first process packaging facility. In this case, an automated equipment system assures that each outcome is technically verified to verify quality. Any out of the ordinary or corrupt condition will be rejected. A packaging business may produce hundreds of egg cartons every hour. Automation in this process ensures efficiency and improves package quality. This might help duck egg exports, which are a vital element of the U.S. food sector. Every year, the United States sends a huge number of eggs to overseas the markets, therefore contributing to international commerce and enhancing export performance. This also ensures that American duck eggs have a significant presence in the global market and can satisfy the demands of customers worldwide. What about duck meat? Are you interested in how they are prepared? Handling and preparing ducks normally starts with cautious handling of the ducks. They are suspended on conveyor belts to guarantee that they are handled in a humane and efficient manner. The ducks will be electrically stunned after being placed in the factory's stunning system to guarantee they do not experience discomfort. Following the preceding processes, the duck will go through a hot water module process to soften its feathers. An epilator will be used to efficiently remove hair while protecting the skin. The duck will continue the experience once the feathers are removed. The removal of the duck's organs and internal organs is a critical phase. The propeller is removed and put into a screw-making machine to ensure maximum freshness by avoiding bacterial development. Finally, the ducks will be passed along each row of conveyor belts to remove any remaining water. Duck meat products from processing factories are often packaged in different specifications to suit consumer needs. Freshly treated birds can be packed whole or in smaller parts and chilled for quality preservation.
modern processing machines handle all of these procedures. And the staff here are in charge of controlling the chain system so that it may run more freely. To design an outdoor pig farm model, you must first select a vast space away from residential areas. The pig raising region must have a vast space with trees and ponds where the pigs may live and play. To ensure the safety of the pigs, the barn must be well built. This is one of the aspects that aid in pig health management and growth. Outdoor pig farms differ from regular farms in that they give greater space for the pigs to live peacefully in a more natural setting. This concept not only allows pigs to enjoy the sunshine and fresh air, but it also creates conditions that enhance resistance and health in the pigs. Pig breed selection is an important aspect of maintaining healthy pig herds. To be more specific, this is a critical stage in the pig raising process. Pig breed selection is one of the most critical variables determining the profitability of a pig farm. Pig breeding serves as a template for future pig herd growth. Choosing the correct pig breed will help guarantee that your herd is disease resistant and adaptable to the farming environment. As a result, picking pigs of the local breed or those blended with native pigs should take precedence. Indigenous pigs have frequently adapted to the unique living and climatic circumstances of their geographical location making them more resistant to illness and local environmental conditions. You have the option to build a herd of pigs that are robust and resistant to various problems and diseases throughout the rearing phase by selecting this breed. How will you select breeding pigs? One of the first critical procedures after bringing the breeding pigs to the outdoor farm is to immunize them against infections. The vaccination process is critical to safeguarding the pig herd's resistance and general health. Vaccination guarantees that pigs are not just exposed to demanding environmental variables, but also to possible illness threats. Vaccines are carefully chosen to guarantee that pigs are protected against serious infections such as African swine fever, epidemic pneumonia, and others. The immunization process is carried out by specialists or persons with pig care experience. They will decide the best time and dose for each vaccination to achieve optimal efficacy. This prevents disease transmission among the pig herd and ensures that they grow robust and healthy in the natural setting of an outdoor farm. It must be said that any pig farm model must vaccinate piglets from the time they are born and as soon as they move to a new environment. Focused care for the pig's health is a key aspect of an outdoor pig farm. This involves giving a balanced meal and making sure drinking water is constantly accessible to keep the pigs healthy. However, even more specific care is provided by attentively studying and analyzing each pig's needs in order to assist them in adapting to the outside environment and maintaining good health in all weather conditions. Making sure the pig's nutrition is balanced and healthy is a crucial aspect of proper care. 
This necessitates rigorous supervision over the amount and type of food they get. To guarantee that every pig is fed, automated gear and equipment that distributes feed uniformly and effectively can be employed. Furthermore, supplying clean drinking water and preserving enough water throughout the dry season are critical aspects of outdoor pig care. Pigs require water 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Therefore, they will purchase automated feeders and feeders with large storage capacity to make water delivery more simple, eliminating the need to continually check the amount of food available throughout the day. Observing the pig's adaptation to the outside environment is another crucial component of care. They require space to roam freely and hunt for food in their native surroundings. Although outdoor pig farming has numerous advantages, yields may be lower than on contemporary farms. This is frequently due to circumstances such as bad weather and poor cleaning, which necessitate additional work. Pork from pigs grown outdoors is often thought to be of higher quality and more flavorful. This is attributable not just to the pig's attentive care, but also to the natural environment they live in. Pigs have space to exercise, hunt for food, and interact with the natural environment in an outdoor setting. They frequently engage in greater physical activity, which can improve muscle mass and eliminate extra fat in the meat, making pigs more flavorful and healthy. Meat quality is also determined by the diet of the pig. Outdoor raised pigs are fed natural food on a daily basis and are routinely evaluated to guarantee a balanced diet. This also improves the meat's overall taste and quality. Their major source of nutrition is cornmeal and agricultural goods. They consume vegetables and fruits on a daily basis. These are foods that farmers can cultivate, allowing them to save money on pig food expenditures. Some farms have created a mixed livestock concept in which pigs consume vegetables directly from the farm's fields. Isn't it a beautiful thing? In addition, pig farms will cooperate with supermarket chains to buy back expired fruits and vegetables to use as food for pigs. One day, a large supermarket can throw away several hundred pounds of expired fruits and vegetables. This helps the pig's food intake be more diverse and nutritious, and these foods are very cheap. Outdoor pig farming not only improves pork quality, but it also promotes pig health and the environment. Despite its shortcomings, this approach has demonstrated the significance of combining proper care and the natural environment in order to produce delicious and healthy pig products for customers. Pigs farming in Europe is becoming an important part of the contemporary livestock industry, and strict regulation plays an important role in ensuring its sustainable development. Let's dive deeper into the important aspects of how European farmers operate pig farms.
the process of raising pig farms in Europe not only ensures the healthy development of pigs, but also takes care of their living environment. The regulations set requirements for the construction and design of pig housing so that they provide comfortable living spaces and prevent the spread of diseases. This not only protects the health of the pigs, but also ensures that the surrounding environment is also maintained in good condition. Pig barns must always be clean and dry to ensure the healthy growth of pigs. Feeding is an important factor in the pig raising process in Europe. Pig feeding is often produced from local ingredients to minimize transportation costs and reduce energy consumption during feed production. Grains such as barley, corn, and soybeans are a mainstay of pig's diet, providing energy and fiber. The feed also contains concentrate, providing protein, fat, vitamins and minerals necessary for pig growth. Additionally, supplementary feeds contain nutrients that pigs cannot synthesize on their own, such as amino acids and antioxidants. All of this ensures that pigs have a varied and balanced diet to grow strong and healthy. Vaccination is one of the most important measures in protecting the health of pigs. European farms often follow vaccination schedules specifically designed to prevent dangerous diseases. This includes using appropriate vaccines to protect pig from dangerous diseases such as swine fever, foot and mouth disease, and pasteurlosis. These vaccines help create immunity in pigs, helping them resist attacks by disease-causing bacteria and viruses. In addition to vaccination, regular dewaring also plays an important role in the pig health care process. The presence of parasitic worms in the pig's digestive system can cause serious health problems, including malnutrition, and decreased resistance. Regular dewaring helps eliminate parasitic worms and protects pigs from their negative effects. After being raised and well cared for on farms, pork is transported to the processing plant by specialized vehicles. The transportation process is carried out safely and according to strict regulations. At the processing plant, pork is inspected and graded based on weight, age, and quality. This helps ensure that processing takes place efficiently and that a quality meat product is achieved. Before proceeding to the time of the process, the pigs will be anesthetized to ensure that they do not suffer pain and stress. This is done humanly and with strict monitoring to ensure safety and sustainability in the industry. After slaughter, the pork will be thoroughly cleaned to remove blood and impurities. Then the pork is divided into different parts, including lean meat, fatty meat, bones and organs.
This process is carried out according to strict hygiene standards. Pork is processed into different products to meet market demand. Products include fresh meat, frozen meat, smoked meat, bacon and canned meat. The process is carried out using modern technologies and in compliance with food safety regulations. Finally, pork is packaged to ensure food safety and hygiene to preserve it for a long time. Pork is stored in cold storage at the appropriate temperature to ensure freshness and safety when it reaches consumers. Whole pig farming in Europe has achieved significant achievements. The industry faces a number of challenges going forward. Ever tighter regulations put pressure on pig farms to comply with high standards of animal health, food safety and environmental protection. This increases their operating costs and can affect profits. This production costs are also increasing due to factors such as feed, veterinary medicine and labor costs. Consumers are increasingly placing higher demands on animal welfare and food safety, which possesses no challenges for pig farms. According to the European Union EU Agricultural Agency, Europe's pork production will reach 27.5 million tons in 2022. Germany, as Europe's largest pork producer, contributes a large part of the production volume of 6.8 million tons. Next in Spain, with 5.5 million tons, France, with 4.7 million tons. Queensland is home to more than 50% of the country's total pig farming area and Australia's pork export market is mainly Asian markets, of which China being the largest import market. The heart of Australian pig farming is the presence of modern facilities that can create excellence. In these facilities, pigs enjoy spacious, well-ventilated housing, thoughtfully designed to not only prioritize comfort but also enhances production efficiency. The combination of modern infrastructure and advanced technology has proven pivotal in providing a nurturing environment for animals, culminating in the increased productivity that characterizes the livestock industry. The Australian pig industry's sustainable approach demonstrates a strong commitment to environmental protection and resource efficiency. One of the most prominent points in this strategy is the conversion of manure into biogas. This not only helps minimizing the negative impact on the environment by reducing waste but also creates a clean energy source for this industry. Not only the manure from this process also becomes an extremely valuable resource in the field of farming. But the nutritional richness of this modified fertilizer helps improve soil quality and also reduces dependence 
on synthetic fertilizers. This drives modernization and innovation and resource management of the Australian pig industry. From reusing manure to using it to generate energy and supplement crop nutrients, these practices represent progress and innovation in the industry. In particular, they also clearly affirm the industry's leading position in promoting sustainable pig farming and environmental protection. Biosecurity takes center stage in Australian pig production underscoring the industry's commitment to animal health and welfare. Strict measures have been taken to prevent the spread of disease in the pig herd. This includes a meticulously constructed system to control access to farms, strict cleaning and disinfection procedures and control of animal movement. To ensure biosecurity in Australia, farmers and pig breeders also strictly comply with quarantine regulations and ensure that pig herds are periodically health checked. These comprehensive measures have effectively protected Australian pigs, ensuring they remain healthy and free of disease risk. This not only ensures a safe and quality pork supply for consumers, but also demonstrates concern for animal welfare and protecting public health. Pork processing begins with the transport of pigs from the farm to the factory. And this is the end of a long and resistant journey from a farm to table. Pegs are carefully transported to the processing plant, where handling is carefully received. This marks the beginning of a series of complex steps, delicately designed to optimize performance and minimize waste. The first step in this process is biocontaminant, a paramount priority to ensure the safety of both animals and workers. Pigs, after being brought to the processing plant, will be put through the first processing stage. Here, science and art intersect to create an impressive process. Each pig is treated cleanly, each part of it's utilized optimally, official is carefully and efficiently removed to ensure the final quality of the meat product. But technology also plays an important role in making the process run more smoothly and effectively. Modern processing plants are equipped with advanced machinery such as bone removal, slicing and packaging. These machines not only enhance production efficiency, but also ensure strict compliance with hygiene and food quality standards. Quality and safety control are critical to ensure that final pork product meets strict standards. At many stages of the processing phase, strict inspections are conducted to ensure that the meat meets strict quality and hygiene standards. Once the pork products have undergone through the processing phase, they are carefully packaged to maintain freshness and quality.
packaging not only ensures that the product reaches consumers with the same quality, but also preserves the best flavor of the meat. The distribution network ensures that pork products find their way to stores and restaurants across the country, ready to be enjoyed by excited consumers. Attention to detail extended to temperature control and hygiene measures, ensuring that meat products leave the plant at an optimal quality level and ensuring consumer safety. Pork processing in modern factory is a wonderful combination of art and science, from thorough process to the use of cutting-edge technology and commitment to environmental protection. This industry represents true perfection. The final pork product on our dinner table represents not only quality, but also the industry's mission when it comes to providing the most delicious and the safest sustainable food. In 2022, total pork production processed in the U.S. will reach 1.5 million tons, an impressive number that demonstrates the important role of the pork processing industry in providing pork products to the entire market, the domestic market and the international market. In particular, the export market for U.S. processed pork is mainly Asian markets, with China being the largest import market. When talking about raising Angus cattle in Australia, the river in the area in the state of New South Wales cannot be ignored. This is a place with ideal conditions for raising cows, with a perfect combination of mild climate and dedicated care from talented farmers. Riverna is a region located in New South Wales, Australia, it uses millions of hectares of land to raise Angus cattle. The average annual rainfall ranges from 500 to 600 millimeters, and the average annual temperature ranges from 18 to 22 degrees Celsius. This creates ideal conditions for the growth of grass and forage plants for cows. Angus cattle, a breed famous worldwide, also has a strong presence in the river now. This breed of cattle originates from Scotland and is distinguished by its black coat, strong body, and good weight gain. The strengths of the Angus cattle breed includes its capability with grass-based feeds and supplementary feeds, helping to produce delicious and high-quality meat. In raising Angus cattle in the Riverna, grass is the main food, accounting for 80% of the diet. In addition to grass, corn, wheat are always given to cows to provide them with energy and starch as well. At the same time, additional concentrates such as soybeans, grains, and minerals are added to ensure cow receive all the necessary nutrients. Check the health and vaccinate Angus cows regularly to monitor their development. The number of Angus cows in this area is estimated at about 100,000, 
accounting for about one-third of the total number of Angus cows in the country. Quickly growing grass fields will be harvested as reserve food for cows. Modern machinery systems will be used to support livestock farming. Riverna is one of the areas that uses modern machinery to raise cows. Creating great income for the farm, the grass will be harvested into large blocks of grass and put into the farm's grass storage areas for preservation. This is to ensure that cows are always provided with a full range of food and nutrients. In addition to outdoor cow farm systems, Angus cows in Australia are also raised in closed farms. After a session of free activity on the farm's fields, they will be opened to enter the farm. They will eat additional hay provided by the ranchers. They will rest at the farm to ensure they are not attacked by wild animals. The Angus Cattle Auction in the River Na region, New South Wales State, Australia, is one of the largest and most important cattle auctions in the world. The auction takes place twice a year, in March and September. At this auction, thousands of Angus cattle are sold to wholesalers, breeders and importers from all over the world. The world's most expensive Angus cow was sold for $1.5 million at the Angus cattle auction in the Reverna region, New South Wales State, Australia, on September 3, 2022. The eight-month-old Angus bull named Red Tang weighed 1,200 pounds and was considered an excellent quality cow with a thick, healthy coat and a well-proportioned body. Red Tank was purchased by a livestock company in China. The company paid a high price for Red Tank because they believed that the cow had the potential to produce high quality calves. Red Tank's sale price broke the previous record of $900,000, set by another Angus bull at the 2021 Reverend Angus auction. Each year, Riverna supplies about 75,000 Angus cows to the international market. This accounts for about 20% of Australia's total beef exports, reaching an estimated value of up to $1.5 billion annually. Reverend's contribution not only benefits the local community but also promotes Australian agriculture on a world stage. What is special is that the transportation of Angus cattle from Australia to markets around the world has achieved significant progress. Each cow was transported in specialized containers measuring 12 meters by 2.5 meters. Each of these containers can hold about 20 cows and is designed to ensure the safety and comfort of the cows throughout the long journey.
In each container, Angus cows are provided with adequate food and water, and ventilation and lighting systems are installed to ensure their comfort. Shipping time from Australia to European, Asian, and American markets usually lasts about 30 to 40 days, depending on the location and the shipping method. Transportation methods include water and air, with the goal of ensuring the health and well-being of cows throughout the long journey. The main markets that Australian Angus beef is exported to include the United States, Japan, Korea, China, and the European Union. These Angus cattle not only achieve high standards of meat quality, but also demonstrate Australia's commitment to maintaining the quality of life of cows throughout their journey, from the farms to property around the world. The export of Australian Angus cattle isn't only an economic journey, but also a great example of how the care, protection and transport of cattle can be done responsibly and humanly. This provides an interesting insight into the lives and work of Australian Angus farmers and transport experts. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos. Hello friends, pheasants are one of these species that contributes to the economic of many countries around the world. They were originally invasive wild species and are now being bred and raised by the millions on farms. How is pheasant egg incubation technology performed? Here is the video. Please subscribe to the channel to show us some support. Harvesting eggs from free-range chickens is a routine that takes place amid the natural rhythms of outdoor life. Chickens usually start laying eggs at about six months of age and lay eggs year-round, with peak production occurring in spring and summer. On free-range farms, egg collection usually takes place early in the morning when the chickens are still resting, minimizing the risk of encountering guard chickens. The number of eggs that an adult chicken can lay annually ranges around 200 eggs, although there are differences depending on breed and care conditions. The manual hand harvesting method of eggs involves delicately removing them from the nest and placing them in farm baskets. An average free-range chicken farm can produce about 1,000 to 2,000 eggs per day. However, this number depends on the specific circumstances of each farm. Before incubating eggs, it is crucial to sanitize them to eliminate bacteria and mold that could harm the embryos. The eggs can be sterilized by soaking them in a solution of 0.5% bleach or ethanol for 
10 to 15 minutes. Only fresh eggs that are crack free with a normal shape weighing around 50 to 60 grams are chosen for incubation. The eggs are arranged lengthwise with the larger end facing up and the smaller end pointing downward. They are placed about 2 to 3 centimeters apart to ensure sufficient space for embryo development. The eggs are placed in the incubator at a temperature of 37.5 Celsius and humidity levels of 60 to 65 percent. The incubator automatically rotates the eggs five to six times per hour to ensure even embryo development. The incubation period for chicken eggs lasts approximately 28 days. During this time, it is essential to regularly monitor temperature and humidity levels in the incubator to ensure they remain within the appropriate range. The hatch weight for chicken eggs in modern farms can reach up to 90% once the chicken egg hatch. It is crucial to provide them to the chicks promptly for warmth and comfort. Chicks are given eggs within 24 hours of hatching.